When you see a good person, think of becoming like her or him. When you see someone not good, reflect on your own weak points. Confucius. Throughout all the writings, Confucius believed that self-improvement was an essential key to life and emphasized it regularly. In chapter 6, verse 17, Confucius has explained the five pillars of self-improvement as being respect, liberality, trustworthiness, earnestness, and kindness. Let's get into the first pillar of self-improvement, which is respect. Respect yourself and others will respect you. Confucius If you understand the value of self-existence, you give value to self and obviously others will respect you. Once you are aware of your self-strengths and give yourself the required amount of value, you will be able to respect what you are and how you are. This also means that you do not think that will put you into shame or embarrassment. Confucius said, if you are respectful, you will have no regret. Receiving respect from others is important because it helps in expressing oneself. Respect is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something that exists around us. It may be referred to our relatives, teachers, friends, or any humankind. A self-improved person is always respecting others and stays respectful as well. The second pillar of self-improvement in Confucianism is liberality. Being liberal is willing to respect and accept behavior or opinions of others and stay open to new ideas. So if you are liberal, you will win the multitude. If a person is liberal, then he or she is favorable to progress as in political or religious affairs. Liberality is the quality of being open to new ideas and free from preconceived judgment and opinion. This Confucian pillar is very helpful in order to be improved because cloudy and closed mind doesn't grow with facts and reality. Self-improvement is possible when new and exciting ideas are collected for the personal development. The third pillar is trustworthiness. I used to take trust on a man's deed after having listened to his words. Now having listened to a man's words, I go on to observe his deeds. Confucius, the Analects. If you are trustworthy, you will be trusted all the times. Trustworthiness is another value for self-improvement which was promoted by Confucius. It means remaining true to your world and being a dependable support for others. In some context, it can also be translated as faithfulness, sincerity, trustfulness, or honesty. Trustworthiness attracts respect, love, and belief. It is sold to the Confucianism, the philosophy of morality. Earnestness is the fourth pillar of self-improvement in Confucianism. Earnest people are very sincere and serious in what they say or do because they think that their actions and beliefs are important. They understand the value of self and others. To be earnest in life is so valuable because it doesn't only build trust while doing right things, but it also helps even if things go wrong. Intention, humility, conviction, and earnestness are core factors to build up humanity. An earnest person is devoted and has courage for self-improvement. If you want to develop yourself but you take things too lightly and there is no enough seriousness within you, it is hard to improve. Earnestness is required to be a leader, to respect the elders, to accept the culture and be courageous in life. If you are earnest, you are effective. The fifth pillar of self-improvement is kindness. Confucius said, Act with kindness, but do not expect gratitude. Kindness should be practiced, but the concentration should not be focused on getting the favor right away. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate which works right for mankind. Confucius said, what you do comes back to you. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. This teaching is completely focused on kindness and is very simple yet most important rule which says how others should be treated in life. It helps to understand the existence of every individual's feelings. Kindness is the key to live a happy life and help others also be in their desirable state. 
If you are kind to others, somehow you get kindness back. So be kind to all and try to treat others by putting yourself in their situation. Then you will be able to influence others which helps in self-improvement to be an ideal person. The use of the words such as respect instead of discipline and kindness instead of benevolence reflects the internal ideas of Confucius. It praises the good rather than punishing the bad. Confucius states, as for humanness, you want to establish yourself then help others to establish themselves. You want to develop yourself then help others to develop themselves. Overall, Confucius believed the key for self-improvement was loving people and everything around in the society. Now that we know the core factors of self-improvement which are known as five pillars in Confucianism, let's get into the aspirations of self-improvement. Let's discuss about the goals with aspirational qualities which will guide by creating enthusiasm about doing best in life to achieve a significant achievement of improving self. The most common self-improvement goals which carry lots of inspirations from the philosophy of Confucianism are as such. Find out purpose in life. No one can tell you the meaning of life or nothing can make you clear about the reasons for your existence until you figure out your own purpose. If you feel like being lost at some point, just listen to your heart and focus only on your strengths. Be mindful of anything that inspires you and follow up on your own ideas. Start by pursuing the right career and then find ways to make your passion even more creative and satisfying. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. Confucius Acquire more skills Confucian philosophy largely resonates with the learning and innovation skills. It's been proven that practice does indeed make perfect, and after reaching perfection is the state of demanding for new challenges and acquire more skills. The more you practice in life, the more skills you obtain. Building skills is the key to self-improvement. The self-reformation requires knowledge, skill, proper attitude and willpower to gather experience. In the Confucius educational theory, he has cleared the wealth of knowledge and skills which we acquire in life as goals of education. Since Confucius had goal to reform the government, his goals for education were to produce men with capability and skills to serve in government in decisive roles. Therefore, self-improvement is achieved by acquiring more skills. Develop self-esteem and positivity. A self-esteem person understands the worth of oneself. Likewise, a positive person is filled with good moral who treats oneself and others in the same manner. Development of self-esteem and positivity means self-improvement. Focus on things you can change and the things you are good at. Improve yourself and gain more confidence, whereas stay positive at the same time. Do something nice for others, you'll feel good about yourself. The perfecting of oneself is the fundamental base of all progress and all moral development. Confucius Improve personal relationships Confucius emphasized social and family hierarchy, including filial piety which means the relationship between parents and the children. In Confucianism there are five human relationships. Ruler, minister, father, son, husband, wife, elder, younger, and friend and friend. By improving personal relationships, a person is said to be self-improved. A person who has good relationship in the family and in the society is an idol to all. Develop Commitment A self-improved person is always committed to family, society, culture of respect and love. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Dedication only can lead to success and develop the abilities to be a gentleman. Personal strengths are identified with self-improvement. From relationships to career, knowing your strengths is important for understanding personal interest and area of activity. It gives you a better understanding of what you are seeking and where you are likely to thrive and excel. Thank you for watching.